Thank you for tuning in to watch Sixto. My name's Sixto. Today is uh, another look at a watch that was sent in by Dan, Blue Color Watches. This is a, a Hacken uh, 8821 automatic. As you can see, it has uh, twin turbines, which, you know, pretty much they are balance wheels. They're trying to be fancy. Which I give them props. It's on a Harlex crystal. Uh, Roman numeral. With a, a train track. Uh, around the outer. Dial. Uh, date complication. To change that. You can advance. By pushing this little button. As you can see. The boom is not. Operable. There's no life into it. Because this movement actually hacks. Well, guess not. But, anywho, let's change the time so we can get a better visual. As you can see, one turbine is going, the other one's not there. It's a Chinese movement. Let's see if I can get it nice. Here it is, what it looks like from the back. Not too shabby, but for I think what was it like fifty bucks on AliExpress, so give or take uh, whatever inflation. It is in your part of the world. I'm going to leave the AliExpress link in the, in the description. Because it has a, a variety of all different ones. As you can see, both of them are rocking. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It's cool to actually see that compared to the traditional um, open heart one. The twin turbine, or the, the turbine when it was created is just to increase the power and also for the watchmaker to show their flex muscle so they could be like hey let me screw this uh future uh, uh service guy up if it's not in a created by the manufacturer so that's what they created the twin turb or the, the turbine so they have a longer power reserve and also something for the manufacturer or the the watch maker the watch master to uh, throw their flex muscle you see an open heart I'll give you a twin I'll give you a turbine with more uh, ac with a little bit more accuracy and a, a longer power reserve it's not too shabby on this thing is still bracelet as you can see it's, it's a finger uh, fingerprint magnet because every time you touch it even if we stare at it, it will smudge. But look at that nice shine. The the hands are silver. Let's see if I can get them. Bracelet feels pretty good. Uh, for the people that are not a fan of uh, butterfly class, this is what it will come with. But you could always swap out for a leather strap, canvas strap, because this little gem uh, measurements are 48.2 lug to lug, uh, case thickness all the way around. Uh, 41 millimeter on the on the uh, on the bezel uh, 41.7 from the, the the thickness of the case or the thickness on this one actually it's 14.5 so 15 millimeters thick and you can see because obviously they had to make room for to compensate for the the twin turbine so, 
you got this guy says it's stainless steel uh what is it water resistance i think it was at at 30 atmospheres so it's like 100 100 something feet but splash proof so like i said to advance you hit You get a, a toothpick or if you have one of these spring bar removers this will be your best bet give you a quick wrist shot if I can get it I had to take the link out so it could fit my seven and three-quarter inch wrist Let me know what you guys think about this. Are AliExpress watches always the go-to? Like I said, it's a Harlux crystal top and back. The rotor school because it's like a complete different design. Just I wish I knew what the Chinese movement that we're using. But not, again, it's not too shabby. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Until the next one, you guys have a good one.